So this is Tunguska. Yikes. It's good to be back in the USSR, but this place makes the rest of Siberia look tropical. Looking good, Goldie. That outfit could melt an iceberg. Thanks. You're welcome to borrow it sometime if you like. Yeah, a little nippy. I better incinerate something for heat before my tool falls off. Can't have that. But I think we can arrange an opportunity for creative combustion. We need to gather intelligence on Project Solaris. Want to help me out? You know it, sugar. What do you need me to do? I'm not sure yet. I'll know more after Agent Sergei briefs me. Sergei? Ah. Oh. Not him again. Yes, him again. He's been here for weeks, digging up intel on Project Solaris. Yeah, he's a regular 007 off. What's he got that I ain't got? Hair, for one thing. Here he comes. Let me do the talking. Ukraine girls knock me out. Moscow girls make me shout. It's good to see you, Sergei. Natalyushka, you look devastating, as usual. I know, but we have no time for furtive verbal foreplay. What can you tell me of Project Solaris? Not as much as I'd like. There is a classified area nearby, obscured day and night by a cloud of radioactive gas. I believe it is the source of the insidious organic weapons being used to subjugate our motherland. Svolochi. Duh. The area plans are kept in a high security section of KGB headquarters. Can you sneak us in? You and your little Zaitchik? I don't see how. Now, if it were just the two of us. Jealousy, Sergei? Though the fire fades, comrade, the embers may yet smolder. Even in the tundra. Uh, thank you, comrade. 
We'll find our own way in. Now go. You mustn't be seen with me. So, exactly what kind of history do you have with this Sergei guy? Exactly the kind you think, Crypto. Not that it's any of your business. Hey, see whoever you want. You can bang the Red Army Chorus for all I care. Your permission is noted. Now can we get to work? Sergei. Who does he think he is? Omar Sharif? I mean, look at the guy. What does he bench? 80, 85 tops? He wrestles bears. Okay, so how do we get our hands on the plans? Sergei says we'll have to sneak into the KGB headquarters and steal them. Oh, Sergei says that, does he? He does. The odds will be against us. The place is swarming with agents. Well, Crypto says bring them on. The more the freaking merrier. Okay then. Hmm. Actually, you might be onto something there, Crypto. If you can create a large enough disturbance, it might lure most of the agents out of the building. And while I'm playing monkey ball, you'll sneak in and grab the plans. Gotcha. Okay, doll face, I'm off to stir up the Soviets. Be careful in there, you hear me? Don't worry, Crypto. You keep them occupied, and I'll be just fine. Whatever you do, just keep them away from the HQ building. Good luck.
Rogue Agent Natalia has infiltrated our headquarters! Damn her and her coldly beautiful competence! Capture her at any cost! Take intruders down! Not bad, huh? If there's one thing I can do, it's make with the boom boom. Admit it, Goldie. I'm your knight in a shining spacesuit, and you just can't resist me. I'm resisting you right now, Crypto. And you're wearing my LAR pajamas. Damn. So how about those plans you swiped? They the real deal or what? I just had time to glance at them quickly before the alarms went off. There seem to be a number of tunnels and a lot of security around them. And it looks like the tunnels have these bizarre organic pumps inside, which are what's pumping the radioactive gas over the area. So I take it we're gonna put these organic pumps out of business. Duh. But a direct assault would be dangerous. I need to talk to some people. Lay low for a while, Tovarish. I'll be back soon. Why do they always ask me to do the one thing I suck at?
Dobry den, towarzysz. Hey man, if I said you had a great body, would you hold it again? I like you, Crypto, but I will neuter you if I have to. Fair enough. Hey, gorgeous. Did you find out any more about those tunnels? What I found is a scientist who works in the organic weapon technology program here. He knows all about the machines in those tunnels. I, uh, persuaded him to talk. So you persuaded the scientist to talk, huh? Uh, did he survive the persuasion? Violence isn't the answer to everything, Crypto. For example, have you noticed the male-to-female ratio in this village? You sly dog. Hey, all I did was sit there. What'd you find out? Is there any easy way to shut those things down? Those pumping machines are actually organic little nuclear reactors. Incredible! Not to mention highly unstable. A nuclear fuel rod placed inside one will overload it and cause a meltdown. And there just happens to be a nuclear plant in town. Ought to be a few fuel rods lying around. Exactly! If you get some fuel rods, Sergei and I will smuggle them into the tunnels. Okay, Goldie, I'll get your fuel rods for you. But I expect a big... Agent Sergei is acquiring some transportation as we speak. He'll meet you when you find them. Hm. You can ask him for your reward. It if every man I meet turns to borscht, not to mention by curious women. Ugh, don't get me started. I do a rural Lenska. He's not potato, he's not snow. Well, then I am blaming Nostradamus. <laughs> From dead! Show yourself. KGB. Scientist, uh, we are least expendable, no? Government would never harm great minds of society. Boom! I am crazy for scientists I was meeting at bar other night. But why was his Gelda glowing in dark? He must be taking excellent vitamins. I am hearing scientists are doing many nuclear experiments in town, but I am not caring. I am having enough to be depressed about. I mean, look at this place! That being Leningrad, Schmeningrad, no. Schmodovodrizikrad. That has nice ring to it. Oh, thank heavens. Fuel rod ship me this coming in. In few hours, I will be pink in arms of my secret lover. First make lumpy, lumpy a witch. Darkness falls. A furtive knock on my door. Heady aroma of English spies. 
And then I am having erotic wonderland. It is my lumpy. Hurry, lover. Be getting those fuel rods over from Frozen Lake. Then flights of angels be speeding you to my bed. The sensors on the saucer are picking up some significant radiation levels near you, Crypto. Either Gastro's gout is acting up, or there must be fuel rods nearby. Agent Sergey is waiting with a truck not far from here. I know how you feel about him, Crypto, but you must conquer your personal issues and take in those fuel rod containers. Beating presents is being a good job. Although hours of murder. <laughs>
sure they can carry is quite a specimen. Wouldn't you agree, Crypto? To the work of the devil Dodecalypse. Eradicate them!
Well done, Crypto. Our cargo has arrived at the safe house. Now, come and see me. We need to talk. Whoa, look at that. Finished already. And here I was, just getting started. Of course, I work out. Don't know if you knew that. Thank you, Crypto. Sergei and I can take it from here. I'll bet. Uh, hey, how about I just stick around and help you out myself? You know, since I'm already here, I'm sure Sergei's a busy guy, you know, embassies to bug, dissidents to torture. You're very generous, Crypto, but I think he can find the time. I'll rejoin you once he and I have disabled the machines in the caves. Until then, try and stay out of trouble. So, he makes time with my girl while I sit around and twiddle my phalangipods, is that it? Well, homie, don't play that. I made it through a whole nother game all by myself. I don't need anybody's permission to knock some monkey heads. Certainly not some... chicks. Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? Little to the left. Hey, hey not bad, Goldie. So, you and uh, you and Sergey, huh? He's really uh, something. Where'd the two of you meet? At the KGB Academy, actually. No kidding. What was he? Uh, the janitor? As a matter of fact, he finished second in our training class. Hmm. I got three guesses who came in first, and they all start with N. <laughs> I think that was part of the attraction. He'd never lost to a girl before. Wonder if he's ever lost to a Furon. So what happened? Your kids seem made for each other. He wanted me to quit. It's not easy always being second best, I expect. Tell me about it. So, you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Yet. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergei and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergei and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? 
Да. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. No sweat, doll face. Consider those bumps out of order. Sergei would stop calling me drunk at three in the morning. Please! I hate being naked! And by being naked, of course I mean operating without backup or cover. Get your mind out of the gutter!
Operation Schmediation. As long as can still have children, who is caring about glowing pizza? Lumpy, lumpy, bitch. 
little green the reactor is overloading crypto get out fast it's going to blow Done, Crypto! That's the last of the reactors shut down! Now, head up to the base and see that gas cloud is clearing. And you might want to hold your nose. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the phone. What do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh, my. Holy hookers of Ark Voodoo! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out. I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention, Blisk! I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Your asses belong to me. Arkvoodle's lines! Your weapons simply aren't calibrated for this sort of war. They're practically useless against the Blisk. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole Blisk thing, Pox. My... my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. 
They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship. Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, though one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven time. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell did the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... Don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Clear to ride up. If only our mothership was still intact. Its archive data on the disk might have helped me develop weapons upgrades capable of cracking those shells. But that data is irretrievable now. Oh, the Furology! What is that being? Is being free food maybe?
Repeat, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoy, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridal. That is why we desire her. Poetic, yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Perhaps they'll... Thank heavens I am not living out by frozen lake. Crazy doctor out there, always running bizarre experiments. When any sensible person is knowing, science is nothing but smoke and mirrors to making peasants feel stupid. Now where do I put newspaper? I must be checking horoscope before I am going to psychic. I was being out to northwest of here, hunting bears overnight, when I nearly was shooting this crazy scientist. Idiot had better be being more careful, or is liable to get big brain blown off! Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey butt. Orlov 
has locked himself inside cabin. Flush him out. Let me do this. You liable to get us both blown up. I have no one. You human. Monkey see? Monkey don't. This ain't gonna Come on out, Dorlock. We are knowing you are being in there. Time going up for the gasronator. You about to be a dead monkey. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, 
Was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Listen, aliens don't come any scarier than me. When I infect you, you'll know it. Boy, suddenly I feel vaguely aroused. <laughs> That's the end of that conversation, Branch. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris, but I quit after I saw very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapons to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. You actually think the KGB was after your collection of show tunes? Why not? Fiddler first pressing alone worth 40,000 rubles on black market. 40,000? Geez, what is it with these currencies? Who runs your economy, Abby Hoffman? You are just jealous because I have copy of Hair, original off-Broadway soundtrack, signed by Jerome Ragni. I don't even know what the hell that means. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it, whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft. Computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk will wonders never cease. Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care, facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet you. Soviets will triumph in Cold War. I will yet be dancing on your grave, Mickey Mouseki. Oh no. Here comes male menopause. What is being stealing them? I am hearing can get one cheap on black market. I am hearing someone is putting man on moon. But I'm not believing. I think he's broadcast from fake set in TV studio in Newark. What is that being? Miek with the running! <gasps> oh, hello.
right there. Fine. I am having seen this old boy anyway. I cannot find nice peasant girl with dry childbearing hips. Only someone would be inventing way to be meeting people in other part of the world and exchanging erotic, how you say, chat. One day I'm hoping to work as guard at research facility. All those guys are doing is standing around all day and reading box scores from chess tournaments. metal container to store it. I've been begging for metal containers to store my experiments in for years. Who the hell do I have to gas off around here to get a metal container? The invaders of space! I'm shooting no. him like Thank a you. What is that? Statures of bodies! I am not dying, though. But...
Well, hello. How nice of you to drop by. Hey, Pox, what do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? I don't know. What do you get when you put 60 Blisk Warriors in a blender? Chowder! <laughs> Okay, Pox, what are we gonna do about these crabby blisk? They'll undoubtedly kill us if we don't kill them first. Therefore, there's only one thing we can do. Destroy them! Starting with their crashed warship. Unfortunately, as discussed, its hull is impervious to Furon weaponry. It does, however, have a weakness. A main thruster protected by an armored hatch. Open that hatch, Crypto, and then bring on the Boom Boom! You are so cute when you do that. Are you sure my saucer can't finish that warship off? It looks totaled. Well, it can't fly, but it still makes an impregnable base. Your saucer can't put a dent in it. You see, during the Martian War, Furon nuclear weapons were the envy of the galaxy. But we converted to conventional arms after our little DNA mutation issue. And believing our supremacy unchallenged, diverted resources to other, more frivolous concerns. Such as... Poverty, education, health care... Trivia! Utter trivia! Who cares our damned complacency?! So just cause little Jeremy wants to read, my saucer can't do squat against the Krabbies. Goddamn politicians! So how do I get this thruster hatch open? It's gotta be locked down tight. It is. And my scans reveal the hatch controls have been disabled. It seems the Blisk have removed the Nexus crystals powering the circuit, but not destroyed them. Those crystals are still around somewhere. I'm reading a faint Nexus signature somewhere inside the Blisk base. Find the Nexus crystals to power the circuit and open the hatch. Then... Destroy that warship! I think little Crypto just woke up. All right, Poxy, I'm tan, rested, and ready. Let's bring this crab pot to a boil. Bam! Right! Head for the Blisk base and see if you can find those crystals. I'll keep scanning while you're inside. If I lock onto the crystals, I'll let you know. And be careful. These blisk are a lot stronger than... Anybody else I've fought, I got it. Don't worry. Ponzabi was right about one thing. Everybody cracks. Brace yourself, Crypto. This mission is going to be an extreme test of your particular, um, talents. Head into the Blisk base on foot and see if you can find those Nexus crystals. Scanners are picking up a weak signal from one of the crystals near your current location. There, Crypto! That Blisk warrior has it! Take him out and pry that crystal from his cold, scaly hand!
at you! There must be another Nexus crystal in the center of all that gas! The scanner signal is weak, but you have a nose like a bloodhound! Eh, Crypto?
My sacred inner fluids are still frozen solid. <clears throat> Melt the obstruction with my superheated plasma. Landing beacon in magnanimous thanks. About freaking time. Enough pussyfooting around. Me want to make boom boom. Is it crypto? You've wiped out the Blisk base! I've half a mind to put you up for a medal, but only half. Well, it's about time. 
Guess the Krabbies won't screw with us now. Not after what I did to their warship. Don't get cocky, Crypto. There's still at least one loose end left to tie up. You may have destroyed the Blisk base, but we still don't have Millencom. Hey, Pa, she seen the blonde babushka? She's supposed to meet me here. No, I haven't. As a matter of fact, you haven't even properly introduced us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to impress her. Oh, relax. I have more pressing matters than torpedoing your grand designs. Actually, I was hoping she could help us track down Millenkov. Perhaps she's with Agent Sir. She better not be, man. I have had it with that smug jerk off. Look at me. I'm so handsome. I'm so smart. I read poetry. I wrestle bears. Regardless, you should probably find Natalia. She may even need your assistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Good. Snoop around. Somebody must have seen her. Uda chi kamrat! what is inside KGB base, and then I am remembering. If I am seen inside, means I am being prisoned or being tortured or worse. Then I am not so much thinking that anymore. Ugly choose no an alien face. Shoot on sight, I say, and be bringing drawn butter. All right, Blisk, this is gonna get messy. And wouldn't you well, know it, I'm all right. out of luck. Doctor Orla, just the cat I wanted to see. I see the KGB caught up with you, Doc. What do you think they'll do to you now? I expect either torture me or. Give me to Blisk for doing with as they are pleasing. Perhaps you could be helping me out of here, Da? Love to, Doc, but I gotta find that first. I'll swing back by if I get a chance. You haven't seen a hot blonde cheek around here, have you? Name's Natalia. I did! Alien creature was taking pretty woman up to alien base. Oh, she is tough cookie. Was putting up quite a struggle. If they heard a hair on her sexy little head, I'm gonna boil every last one of them! Well, they are only passing by a short time ago. If you hurry, you might catch them. Uh, when finished, perhaps you could be rescuing me as well? I'll just wait. I have very large gun.
Glennon, you're here. The worst has come to pass. Sergei is infected. Ah, for crying out. Uh, tell me you use protection. Uh, or don't they teach sex ed in the young pioneers? Kakaya, that needs us. I am not talking about STDs. He's been infected with alien spores. Indeed, he has Lapushka, and I'm afraid Penicillin won't do the trick. Hello, Cryptosporidium. Millencomp. Uh, sorry to rain on your Communist Party, but uh, in case you haven't noticed, your little base looks like Keith Moon redecorated. You've lost. Such bluster, such arrogance. You're beginning to sound like real American. Soon you'll be wearing cowboy hat and speaking in monosyllables. Says you. The truth is, this base means nothing. At this very moment, we are preparing to initiate the final phase of Operation Solaris from our ultra-secret main facility on the moon. It's the ultimate fruition of the Stalinist ideal. What a shame, neither of you will be there to see it. Goodbye, Lapushka Moya. Do svedanja, Kritos Peridium. Krito, leave me! Stop milling Keep your kakashnik on, dollface. You think I'm flying to the moon without you?
Natalia. You should probably go over it, you know, make sure she's all right or something. Just go. Товариш! Look, it, it sucks that Melinkov got away, but I couldn't let you... you know... I know, Crypto, and... thank you. But we still have to stop Melinkov, and he's halfway to the moon by now! Ugh! What are we going to do? Uh, hello? Have saucer will travel. I was wondering when you'd ask. Your saucer can take both of us all the way to the moon? You kidding? I've done so many mods on that baby, she'll give you everything but the happy ending. Thank <laughs> you. 